Bemidji residents are still hard at work cleaning up the aftermath of Thursday's dangerous storm. Beltrami County authorities say straight line winds equivalent to that of a weak tornado ripped through the city. Jackson Bruner has the latest tonight. Greenwood Cemetery was hard to recognize after Thursday morning's severe weather as fallen trees littered the entire graveyard. As a city, we've got our, our, our facilities and, our, and our, our staff and our equipment and cemeteries are different, are different creature. And so it's really great for the community to help out and it's really heartbreaking. They lost some big, beautiful trees just like we did in Diamond Point Park and some of our other facilities. A number of people volunteered time and effort to help them clean up. And as you can see with this bent flagpole behind me here, there was a lot to do. Sparky's construction along with a number of volunteers gave their equipment and services for free on Friday morning. Just got a phone call from one of the people here at the cemetery and just offering the dumpster and uh, help pick up uh, brushing trees. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to do this by myself. Um, it's a tremendous amount of help. Definitely appreciate it. In Bemidji, several parks are still closed down. We have substantial tree loss and uh, tree damage at Pine Grove Park and also at our disc golf course. But damage could be felt even more outside of town as Itasca State Park saw an enormous white pine close the Jacob V. Brower Visitors Center through part of Friday. Some of our two 300 year old pine trees uh, can't withstand winds like that. So uh, they start toppling the trees and trees toppling into other trees topple more trees and it turns into uh, quite a mess. We're carefully removing the tree from the roof so we do no more damage so that we can open this building in a few hours. But nearby cabins are still closed as trees must be removed before anyone can stay in them. We'll have uh, crews here uh, from all over northwestern Minnesota working on clearing uh, the pathways and trails now. We've got the roads open, parking lots are open, we're clearing around the cabins right now so the guests can use the cabins this weekend and then we're going to start working on the trail system. In Itasca State Park, Jackson Bruner, Lakeland News. Beltrami County Solid Waste Management says the county landfill will be open for extended hours tomorrow. This will allow locals more time to get rid of yard waste and other debris at no cost. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.